Electronics are a mixture of plastics and metals, none of which is biodegradable. A recent UN report found that globally, we're throwing away 48.5 million tonnes of electronics, 80% of which ends up in landfill. Here at EMPA, the Swiss Federal Laboratories for Material Science and Technology, scientists have developed a material that can replace all that plastic, and it's all made from wood. Dr. Gilberto Sequeira is the lead scientist. The three main components of wood is cellulose, lignin, and hem cellulose. We start with the bulk wood. We cut it to small pieces, shaped like this. So you're almost shredding the wood down to a paper thin strips. Yeah, yeah, the smallest you have in the beginning, the easiest for the fibrillation. After this process, what we have is a chemical process, which is well established in the industry, where we produce such kind of uh, wood pulp. Here is the dried wood pulp. You can see this fiber-like structure that we it's have. It's like dried paper mache. Exactly. But here you only have cellulose. OK. And why is cellulose so important? Cellulose is uh, very interesting due to its mechanical properties. It's easy to functionalize. We can use it for many applications in our day life. Cellulose is a long chain molecule known as a polymer, which is made up of repeating chains of a smaller molecule. It's made of glucose, which in turn is made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Cellulose is the main substance in the walls of plant cells, helping them to remain rigid. Why is cellulose the most important part? Printing electronics we use nanocellulose in the composition of the ink that we prepare for 3D printing.